Hi everyone, this is Laura and welcome to Gleaton Askew House Restoration. This is our weekend video part two. I hope you enjoy this. We're going to go ahead and put some more paint on the side of the house that we haven't started on yet. Really looking forward to that. It's going to give us a clearer picture of, of where we're going. Instead of having just one side, we're going to have two. We're going to continue to work on the portico. It's coming along really nicely. I think we're going to be able to execute our vision there. Again, you're going to have to stick around to see exactly what that vision is. And we'll just keep right on doing what we do, as I said before, scraping paint and doing everything in our power to save this wonderful old house. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy these videos. And we'll be back at it again next week. Bye for now. What are we doing here today, Mother? We're starting the process of stripping this nasty door. And how nasty is the store on a scale of 1 to 10? 10. <laughs> I'd say about 12. Nicotine, pipe, smoke, <laughs> dirt. Whatever else, right? Yeah. All right, follow along as we clean this guy up. Okay, so as you can see, majority of what was wrong with that door for years and years and years is just plain old filth. Got it all cleaned up now, back to the old depression paint. And now we're about to take that off. Sorry for the little bit of backlighting here. It's just the way the sun's shining this morning. This is what we're starting with and continuing on with the Cobra heat gun. Look at all that old paint. It's all alligatored up. But we know what to do with that, fortunately.
So I say, wow, what a transformation, a lot on here. But would you just look at this door? Oh my goodness. This probably is runner up for world's filthiest door. We have a few more contenders around here, but wow, look at it now. Now I can't take credit for this bit of wizardry. This was my mother. You saw what we did. We cleaned it with something called crud cutter first, just so we could get the, um, the speed heater, the Cobra speed heater on it. Did a light heat gun go over. And then that old paint just came right off. Now this did not have latex on it. It had the oil, old oil paint on it. I'm getting, you know, oil or lead, whatever it was. And we did use masks while sanding it in any case, but wow. We just have to get these awful hinges off of it here, or latches. The screws are really wallered out and won't come off, so probably gonna have to cut them off. But my goodness. And this door is, is like all the rest of them, is extremely heavy. I bet it weighs 250 pounds. But my goodness, we'll follow back up after she sanded down. Just a little imagery of what just a little bit of love can do to these wonderful quality materials that this house was made out of. You just, you just really cannot beat the quality. So mother, to say a few words about the process of cleaning the other side of the world's, one of the world's dirtiest doors. It was so much harder because it had primer on it. It involved stripping with, you know, with a stripper and it involved sanding and picking, but I think we about got it. I think when we sand it, it'll be ready to, to put the final coats on it. Yeah, and we also took the, the first layer off with the speed heater. So we did use the speed heater, but it just wasn't as effective on this, probably from our own making. But anyway, there's the other side. Let's get it back in the house. And this is the outcome of the first coat of, of the paint on this side. Same as the other side, linseed, primer, and then bare marquee exterior flat and antique white I'm gonna take about another coat to get a full coverage i'm gonna clean up the window and do a little cleaning around the cut-in spaces before i do that but 
My goodness, what a change. That nasty, crusty mess. Still trying to get to a good place over here. As I said, the final coat on the clapboards can't go on until we get all this cleaned up because I don't want the debris from this getting over on the paint. But that's coming along nicely too. Very, very exciting. First coat of paint since the 1970s.